I have been staying clear away from interviews because even at this moment, tears are still rushing down my eyes. I was a university lecturer. I left the university, Ambrose Ali University, as a lecturer to pick this job to work with him because I have studied him and I felt that there was a need for me to come closer. It was in my coming closer to High Chief Dr. Doug Percy that I discovered that he was a different personality entirely from the human beings that tread the earth. I decided to write his biography. I decided to chronicle who he was. And in 2000 and in 2007, we did an official presentation of a book on him, Raymond Aliogo Dokpesi, a legend of our time. He is a man that is larger than the man we found him to be. He was an enigma. He was a character. The strength of purpose was something else. In the processes of writing about him, I had to bring in doctors, professors, personalities, people like Professor C.S., the late Professor C.S. Momo, Dr. Gogbo of history department and all that. Because this is a man that should be studied by scholars in universities, mass communication students, history students, theater students, philosophers. And that was why somebody like Professor, uh, Professor C.S. Momo described him as an ethical personality, comparing his like to people like Hegel, the prof uh, the, 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 uh, one of the greatest philosophers of our time. This is a man who brought Africa to the limelight. When I mean Africa, he schooled in Poland, where in that time, a communist society, they were thinking that Africans were living on trees. They had tails like human beings. And he made up his mind to say that he was going to project Africa to the entire world. And that was why he named the station Africa Independent Television. And what was he preaching? What is he preaching till date? That Africans are unique personality. Africans have their culture, they have their way of life, and that was the thing he has carried throughout the world. And today, whether we talk of music, whether we talk of entertainment, whether we talk of economy, whether we talk of business, whether we talk of intellectualism and all that, Africa is projected, is referred, is known. Before this Hollywood and Nollywood that we talked about, he was the one giving cameras to Nollywood actors and actresses. They were using his apartments because what we have, what they had at that time, they were VHS and co. The first automatic cameras, sophisticated cameras that ever landed in Nigeria for the propagation of the cultural practices of the people, for our film, for our music and all that, came from high chief democracy. We cannot, in secondary schools, we cannot stay without studying him as a phenomenon, as a trailblazer, as an enigma, as somebody who came to this Nigeria to transform, to create a direction of flow, a fearless personality, a fearless character, a man that I could go on and on and on and say, look, if there is war and the person says I should go, I will receive bullet because of that. That is who I saw him to be. That is who he is. That is a man that is detribalized, selfless, energetic, working every minute, every second, every time for humanity, for everybody. Where was broadcasting when he started? It was at the lowest end. Where was broadcasting 
when he started when he started private broadcasting in Nigeria. When you talk about Hip TV, On TV, all the stations that are coming up, whether this uh, WAP production by Wale Adenuga, my friends, and all that, they all cut their teeth through this enigma, this man that has become. I don't know what to say about it. May God continue to be with him. Grant him eternal rest. That is what I have to say. I have lost a great friend, a mentor, a brother, a personality that I look up to anytime, any day. Hey, hey, hey.